Hi, this is Mary Showman, and I want to welcome you to my Levothyroxine Deep Dive webinar for people with hypothyroidism who want to feel and live well. In this webinar, I talk about your levothyroxine options. And just a note, all the details and clickable links are located on my website at mary-showman.com slash dive. Thyroxine, known as T4, is the hormone made and released by your thyroid gland. Levothyroxine is a synthetic man-made version of that hormone and is the ingredient in one of the key types of drugs that are used to treat hypothyroidism and underactive thyroid. Levothyroxine comes in three forms, tablets, capsules, and oral solution. There are three key brands of levothyroxine, Levoxyl, Synthroid, and Unithroid, as well as a number of different generic manufacturers. Levothyroxine capsules are available as Tyrosint brand, and Oral Solution is Tyrosint SOL brand of levothyroxine. There is no generic versions for capsules and oral solution. Here's a helpful chart featuring the names of the different brands along with their websites as well as the manufacturers and their websites. And this chart information is also available as clickable links on my Levothyroxine Deep Dive page. The chief ingredient in levothyroxine drugs is the synthetic levothyroxine hormone itself but these medications also include other ingredients called excipients, which are inactive and inert ingredients like fillers and binders. Here is a list of all the different excipient ingredients that you can find in different brands and generic versions of levothyroxine tablets. This chart shows you which excipients are found in which particular brands and generics. The darker orange are indicating those excipients that tend to cause the most sensitivities in people taking them. Excipients can cause a variety of problems for you. They can cause allergy and sensitivity symptoms, change how you absorb your medication, change your test levels, make your medication less effective. And here's an important thing, excipients can change without notice. At least 15% of people are allergic or sensitive to excipients, and you may be one of them. Here are some of the most common signs and symptoms that you have a sensitivity or allergy to an excipient in your levothyroxine. There are two common ingredients that you need to be particularly careful about, acacia and lactose. They're found in a variety of different levothyroxine tablets. Acacia can be sensitivity producing and allergy producing in the 30% of the public that have pollen allergies and hay fever. Lactose can be problematic for the 65% of the population that is lactose intolerant. Tyrosine capsules have three excipients, gelatin, glycerin, and water. Tyrosine SOL oral solution has two excipients, glycerol and water. None of these excipients are known to be particularly likely to cause any kinds of sensitivities or allergies or reactions. Dyes are an ingredient in levothyroxine tablets that can be problematic. The only type of tablet that doesn't have a dye is the 50 microgram white tablet. Otherwise, you're being exposed to a variety of different dyes that have been condemned and in some cases banned by other governments outside the United States. Here's a list of the dyes found in different levothyroxine tablets, along with some of the concerns that have been expressed about these dyes for your reference. Also note the capsule and oral solution forms of levothyroxine do not contain any dyes. The FDA has identified levothyroxine as a drug with a narrow therapeutic index, meaning that any variation in the potency of that drug can dramatically affect your response and treatment. 
That means that they have required that levothyroxine fall within 95 to 105% of the stated potency. Potency can also be affected by exposure to light, heat, and moisture. Tablets are much more sensitive to that exposure than levothyroxine capsules and oral solution. Every brand and generic levothyroxine has its own consistent potency within the 95 to 105% range. That means that you can find brands and generic manufacturers of levothyroxine with levothyroxine medication that has potency anywhere between 95%, like company A, company B may be 100%, company C can be at 105%. You run into problems when you switch brands or when you're using a generic and getting refills that are coming from other generic manufacturers. Even at the same dosage, when you go from brand to brand or generic to generic, the same dosage can have a different potency. So for example, if we went from company A's 95% to company C's 105% potency, over the course of just one week, you would end up taking almost three quarters of a tablet more levothyroxine. If you were on company C at 105% and went to company A at 95%, over the course of a week, you would end up taking three quarters of a tablet less levothyroxine each week. As you can see, that can change your thyroid levels, change your response, and change your symptoms. This is why the American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists recommends that to minimize the challenges of potency differences and to best manage hypothyroidism, your best bet is to stick with the same brand name of levothyroxine for your treatment. If you are consistently taking generic levothyroxine, it can pose its own challenges because every time you get a refill, it can come from a different generic manufacturer. And that means it can have a different potency within that 95 to 105% range. And it can also have different excipient ingredients. If you need to stay on a generic, there are three ways to get around that potency problem. You can work with your pharmacist to make sure you get the same generic for every refill. Not always easy at large pharmacies, but may be possible with a personal relationship with your pharmacist. You can get larger refills, three month or six month, to minimize the number of times you risk getting a different manufacturer's product. And you can also use a mail order pharmacy that lets you specify which generic manufacturer you want to fill the prescription. Reliable and consistent levothyroxine treatment is especially important for three categories of thyroid patients. And for that group, brand name levothyroxine is recommended, and they include pregnant women, babies who were born with congenital hypothyroidism and children who were hypothyroid, and finally, thyroid cancer survivors who are on suppressive therapy to prevent cancer recurrence. What are the signs that you need to change the levothyroxine that you're taking? Well, if your thyroid test levels are not stable, that's a good sign. If your levels are optimal, but you still don't feel well, or if you react to lactose, acacia, or other excipients in your current medication. I also wanna point out some information coming from research regarding the absorption of levothyroxine tablets compared to capsules and oral solution. What researchers and experts have found is that the capsules and oral solution have fewer excipients to cause sensitivities, allergies, and reactions, and no dyes. So again, reduced risk of any kinds of reactions to the ingredients. The Oral solution and capsules are also more resistant to the interference of food on absorption. And that includes the problem areas, fiber and soy, coffee and milk, which can all get in the way of effective absorption of your levothyroxine. The capsules and oral solution are also more resistant to stomach acid 
and are therefore better absorbed in people who have digestive and gastrointestinal conditions that affect absorption. So people who have things like celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, ulcers, acid reflux, Crohn's disease are frequently recommended to try the capsules and oral solution to get more effective absorption. And finally, the capsules and oral solution are better absorbed in people who are taking supplements and drugs that get in the way of absorption of levothyroxine tablets. These include iron, calcium, magnesium, aluminum hydroxide, antacids in general, and proton pump inhibitor drugs. So that means that you should consider switching from levothyroxine tablets to the tyrosine uh, capsules or oral solution when you are sensitive to excipients or dyes that are found in the tablets. If you need to eat or drink coffee or milk around the same time as you're taking your levothyroxine, if you eat a very high fiber diet or a diet high in soy, if you're taking any meds and drugs that interfere with that tablet absorption, if you have a digestive or gastrointestinal condition, especially one that affects absorption, and the tyrosine solution is an option for those people, including babies and small children who can't swallow pills. There are four key ways to save on your levothyroxine. One is you can use manufacturers programs. You can also look at pharmacy, grocery, and retailer discount and savings programs. You can take advantage of outside coupons and discount programs, or you can pay the retail cash price if it's less than your copay. Drug manufacturers typically offer four types of ways to help you save. They have copay cards that reduce your copay with your insurance. They have discount coupons, which are applicable for people who don't have insurance or sometimes can be implied with your insurance. There are direct purchase mail order programs in some cases. And for those who are eligible, some of the companies have patient assistance programs as well, offering free or low cost medication. It's always worth checking on your local pharmacies and groceries because many of them do have discount programs that allow you to save on your levothyroxine. You can also check out Walmart, which has levothyroxine on its generic $4 per month uh, refill list, and you can get a 30-day supply of generic levothyroxine for $4. And a mail-order pharmacy like Honeybee that offers generic levothyroxine with or without your insurance uh, for only $8 for a 30-day supply. To find out about different coupon savings, different pricing, and other opportunities to save on your levothyroxine, check out various services like GoodRx and Single Care, and I have a list of variety of these services on the Deep Dive page. This may be a surprise, but the insurance copay that you're paying may be much more than the retail cash price of your levothyroxine. So here's a tip. Always ask the pharmacy to run your insurance copay price versus the retail price of the drug. Because if the retail price is less, and about half of the time it will be, you can pocket the savings. But if you do not ask, in many states, the pharmacist legally can't tell you that you would save by paying cash. And the savings is gonna go back to the pharmacy benefit manager or the insurer and not to you. So any drug you're getting, levothyroxine or anything else, always ask to run insurance copay versus retail and make sure you're paying the lower price. Let's take a look using Synthroid as an example. The typical cash price for a 100 microgram one month supply of Synthroid ranges at pharmacies from around $45 to $70. Synthroid is categorized as a tier two or tier three copay with most insurance companies, meaning that you're probably going to end up with a copay of anywhere from 15 up to $150, depending on your insurance company. If you use the ABV copay card for Synthroid, you can actually pay around $25 in most cases for that same refill. So you can see where if your copay is $50, 
but you would be able to use your copay card, you can save half price on this particular drug. Another example is Tyrosint, which offers the capsules and oral solution. Tyrosint tends to be pricier when you're looking at the cash price. It runs around $145 to $175 for a one month supply. It's also categorized as a tier three level for insurance, meaning that the copay could run from 25 up to $150. However, with a manufacturer copay card, most people will only pay around $25 at the pharmacy with insurance for their tyrosine refill each month. For those of you who have no insurance or whose insurance has very high copays or doesn't cover tyrosine or tyrosine SOL, the company has a special program called Tyrosine Direct where you can mail order your medication from designated pharmacies and pay no more than $40 to $50 a month for your one month supply compared to more than $100 a month cash price or retail price for Tyrosine. Finally, let's take a look at the costs for generic levothyroxine based on a 100 microgram one month supply. Typical retail cash price is around $15 to $25 at most pharmacies. The insurance copay uh, falls into the tier one category, meaning that your copay is going to range anywhere from a few dollars up to $25 a month for your refill. If you use some pharmacy and grocery and retailer discount programs, you can frequently get your generic levothyroxine for anywhere from around $9 to $20. If you use a mail order pharmacy that doesn't accept insurance like Honeybee, you can get it for around $8. And Walmart stores and pharmacies around the country offer generic levothyroxine for $4. Now remember, if you don't ask at the pharmacy what the copay is compared to the retail cash price, you're going to pay the copay if you're running it through your insurance. And that copay can be more because if you have a $20 or $25 copay, but the cost of the medication is $4 or $9, you are not going to get that savings unless you specifically ask. So always ask at the pharmacy because you may be able to save every month when you get a refill. I hope that you have found this levothyroxine deep dive webinar, which has explored the various options for levothyroxine treatment for hypothyroidism, helpful as part of your empowered program for health and wellness. For more information and clickable links, I invite you to visit my website at mary showmancom dive. You'll find lots of backup and background information and links and resources about everything covered in this program. This is Mary Showman encouraging you to feel well and live well every day. Thanks for joining me.